Hello there you guys, it's Miss Charlotte and welcome back to another video on this channel. Today I am bringing you a Sims 4 speed build and today's speed build is on something I haven't really built in the Sims that much. Well, I have made one in the past ages ago and it looked really, really bad. So today we are redeeming ourselves and building a old church. So this is kind of Halloween themed ish because I wanted this church not just to be a church but to look a little bit overgrown, maybe a bit abandoned and creepy. So that is kind of the style of what I'm going for today. I had a little bit of inspiration looking on Google, just a random images to get the shape of this church. Do let me know though if in future you do want to see like my inspiration pictures if I ever use any um, for these builds. They're normally not um, inspired by Sims 4 builds but like builds in real life if that makes sense. So I was looking at like real life churches uh, before I tried to start building this so yes that is my inspiration. At first I just kind of like build this massive shell. Um, it ended up being really really big so I kind of sized it down a little bit. I was going to make it quite tall uh, but I ended up going for kind of one floor for most of it. Or was it two floors? No it was two floors. Two floors for most of the build and then there was the tower at the back uh, which I think I'm going to make into a bell tower but as you can tell by the title this is just on the exterior of the build. Obviously as I proceed to do the interior in the next video um, on this kind of little mini series I'll probably adjust some things on the outside because I tend to do that. I don't strictly tend to do exterior of a build then the interior. I sort of jump between them sometimes but for now this is what the exterior is going to look like and you will see. So I decided to go for a lighter brick. Normally when I try to do kind of spookier scary eerie builds I go for dark things like I would have done like a really dark brick and things like that but I decided to go with some light brick uh, because I don't know it, I feel like it looks more realistic it's nicer doesn't look so gloomy and like every other spooky build I tried to make so I went for a very white look with this which you'll see with all the pillars and everything and um, I also I went for these lovely realm of are they a realm of magic no they're not they are get together windows uh which are really really nice they're kind of like this stained glass look i really wish they had like a massive one that preceded two levels that would be perfect for a church but i ended up using these ones and so because you can't really get really long windows well you can but not any ones that i thought looked like stained glass i decided to put these stained glass windows at the top and then use kind of pillars and like um this wraparound siding that you'll see I don't really know what it's called but I'm gonna call it wraparound siding to fill in the gaps on the lower level so it didn't look too weird um, because at first I thought about stacking windows like having another set of those stained glass rounded windows on the lower level it looked a bit much so uh, I decided to leave a gap at the bottom and I think it ends up looking nice here we go this is the siding I was talking about um, so I got that wrapped around and I was just kind of experimenting with which ones I want where I wanted to place them because I wanted it to give like the build a little bit of strength structure and busy it up a bit. I also switched a lot of like the pillars and the windows to white rather than grey just so it's a little bit brighter. I did hear you some Realm of Magic windows as well. They have some really nice patterned ones and that's what um, kind of came to mind when I was thinking of like church windows. They either stained glass or patterned and these were the closest I got. Oh actually I did put windows at the bottom. I just used these ones which are a bit different. These ones are very churchy as well. Whilst doing the exterior for this video I did play around with the floor plan a little bit because I have in mind what I'm going to do so just bear in mind that but I didn't really add any objects or anything not even like wallpapers but mainly just working on the structure of the outside where I wanted everything to be although knowing me I'm gonna change it but it's fine this is mainly what it was I do want to take a portion of this video to say something by the way <laughs> that made it sound really dramatic I want to say something um I want to say another big thank you because in the past month like this channel has just gone a little bit crazy last week's video I posted um some highlights of the Among Us stream I did recently and it absolutely blew up like so many people watched it and it's just incredible everyone's been so lovely and supportive and really enjoyed the video and that just makes me so happy like it makes it so much more enjoyable when people receive it well and actually really liked it and it seems like you guys really did so thank you so much and I will get some more Among Us videos on the way um I guess it, it depends on how the stream goes for me and like how the games go and if I think it's worth making it into a video like if I was happy with it um but we shall see so hopefully I'll get more of those on the way but thank you so much and we also managed to hit 700 subscribers which is insane like last video I was talking about how we hit 500 and then 600 now we're at seven like it's it's really mental and I just want to say a huge thank you for everyone who hit that subscribe button who liked that video um, from last week just everything I really do appreciate all of you so much so thank you but anyway enough sop because I'll 
probably get a bit emotional about it because it's i don't know it's it's a lot it's it's really really cool but yeah back to the build so i found this ivy which is really gorgeous ivy in debug for university i kind of like it because it actually has shape and you can do corner pieces and stuff so i used it for this build because i wanted to make this church look really overgrown and kind of abandoned i feel like that kind of creepiness will also kind of develop more when i do the interior and stuff um but for the outside of the church this is the amount i wanted to make it look creepy now i'm thinking about it i'll probably put some cracks in as well on the inside there's going to be loads of cobwebs and things like that but um for the outside i went for this overgrown ivy what you will see later is i do kind of the outside with like gravestones and everything i do a little graveyard near the church and i feel like if i didn't include that this is just a really nice church in itself like the ivy makes it look really really pretty and yeah i don't know it looks really cool i really do like overgrown builds like in real life and in the sims i think if you use the right ivy in the sims it looks really really nice and this university ivy is so nice so yeah i did uh landscape a little bit i really wanted to put this build on a hill but i didn't landscape it beforehand so then i decided to just make it a little bit hilly and here i am starting to do a lot of the landscaping so i wanted to go for like the creepy look again like i said so went for quite a few like barren bare trees and the trees with leaves that i did put in were a little bit autumnal i guess and that kind of vibe looking a little bit creepy to offset the brightness of the church because i was worried that if i did this like white church it would look not very creepy i was just kind of trying to create that creepiness with the surrounding landscaping uh using a lot of vampire pack objects as well um like all of the vampire plants are really good because they look very dead very brambly and creepy so i experimented a lot with that i also put some nice green plants as well uh it was a real mixture with the landscaping actually but i was pretty happy how it turned out in the end so yeah just doing kind of clusters of plants around the place uh and then i add some more and then add some little gravestones everywhere also after this i used terrain paint to kind of create some dirt around the plants because i really like doing that so with terrain paint i get the dirt one or any sort of dirt one uh, and i put it on a light um intensity as well so it looks very blended because with harsh terrain paint you can really tell it looks like you've just like painted a little circle on the ground so i try to make it a little bit more subtle sometimes and i do that normally under trees so where the bark goes into the ground and the same with plants as well i also did a little terrain paint path to the door um and just little decorations here and there really i'm really excited about this build actually i don't know really what i have in mind for the inside a little bit i think we're gonna have like an organ we're gonna have like an overseeing balcony area kind of where like the choir would sit in a in a church <laughs> i'm hopefully gonna use my my previous experience with churches and things like that to try and build this i also added some roof decorations so i did the little spiky things which i think were nice i had to raise some of them on the middle roof i ended up um adding in the end because they're really annoying also the roof decorations for those you have to click each time like you don't have multiple ones in your hand if that makes sense i don't know how else to put it but it was really frustrating building with those i don't know why they make them individually placeable it's strange i also went for a little kind of box at the top of the kind of spire for the bell tower i think there might probably be a bell somewhere is there a bell in debug i don't know i'll have a good search i'll definitely have a good search for some debug stuff because i feel like it definitely makes the build longer but it makes it worth it like when you go into debug and you find some really golden items that bring it together so here moving on to the landscaping on the outside again um around the church i found some cool ruins uh that look like they could belong to a church so i kind of added them around the place uh gravestones some lights to light it up and um, just these little subtle ground lights and also a statue so just little things that i thought you would see in um a church graveyard i tried to make it not look too creepy but yeah i just kind of scattered them around the place and put plants around the gravestones just to make it look like they were very overgrown because this is meant to be like an abandoned church that hasn't been used for ages i do want to start building more with storylines though i found it really really fun so for a shell challenge i did recently um i created this storyline about this doctor who was like really creepy and he had something going on in his basement and i built a haunted house based around it and it was really really fun so if you guys would like to see that i would definitely like to do that i think i would really really enjoy it so yes very very exciting also let me know i'm asking you loads of things today but if you like this whole idea of two part speed builds so doing the exterior in one and then the interior in another i feel like i want to do that in bigger builds just because sometimes it just takes me so long to build and i want to put it into one video but i don't want it to be long that i end up cutting out some really cool stuff so like the landscaping i know i find it quite interesting to watch people landscape so i don't know it's up to you guys what you think but i think i might do more of these two parters obviously we will limit it we'll make sure it's not like a four part build i don't know it 
depends if we're doing a massive one. I then just kind of finish off going around adding some more plants and things like that. All of that good stuff. Lots of brambly bits here and there. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this speed build for the exterior. So really excitingly, it's obviously Halloween at the moment, which is why I'm doing this style of video. Um, I also asked you guys on Twitter if you would like to see a Halloween build challenge, which will be coming soon next week. I also want to get the second part of the speed build out. So we may have two videos next week. I don't know. We shall see how it goes. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you did like the video. And if you did, do give it a thumbs up. Also, feel free to subscribe to stay tuned for videos every Saturday here on this channel. And that is pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.